let's say you don't want to give any you know, credence to this stuff, and you like Herman Cain no matter what, uh, even if he does this to women, you say, but he knows what it, I'm not electing someone to be good to, to women. Right. I am electing a president who knows how to lead, right. who knows the issues, who is familiar with yes. running the country, international relations, that's my man, yes. right? That's what you say. Well, then I bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, Herman Cain. <laughs> This is Herman Cain talking about uh, Libya. This is Herman Cain before the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel editorial board. So you agree with President Obama on Libya or not? Okay, Libya. President Obama supported the uprising, correct? President Obama called for the removal of Gaddafi. Just want to make sure we're talking about the same thing before I say yes, I agreed. I, I know I didn't agree. Um, I do not agree with the way he handled it for the following reason. Um, no, that's that's a different one. Um, I got to go back to see. Uh, got all this stuff twirling around in my head. Pepperonis, sausage, all kinds of toppings. He's got every, everything swirling around in his head. Let me think. I got that thing I don't know about in my head. I got that other thing I don't know about in my head. It's all swirling around. All this stuff I don't know about, it's swirling around in my head. But I love, first of all, don't you think he looks a little like Mrs. Herman? Cain? He looks a little. Yeah. He looks uh, a little. <laughs> I, I think. I think that 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 this thing with Libya and healthcare. When he says, I think that's what he got Libya confused with. Healthcare. healthcare yeah. It's like no, no. I agree with him. No, I don't because disagree with him. I, he has these things, and I yeah. understand, man. There are a lot of things that presidential candidates need to know and remember and memorize and have to regurgitate all the time. But that's why they're presidential candidates. Yeah. You know, and, and listen, if he, if he doesn't, he, the way he seems to be remembering things, he did his Libya homework, and by mistake, he might have gotten it confused with his Haiti homework, you know? <laughs> and and I, I, I really feel like that he's got them in a line, he's got them compartmented in his head, and that's what's happening to him. But, but so, <laughs> I still don't, I don't like that. It looks it, totally incompetent. And he doesn't even know whether he agrees or disagrees until he realizes what it is. Yeah. And then he's like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to disagree with him. He's the president, I disagree. You know? <laughs> wait, wait a minute, the, uh, Barack Obama supported the uprising, right? Like he's he's checking facts. Right, for, right. He's just getting he's, the basic facts of the thing. Is that what happened? Okay, let me see now. Right. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're saying that he doesn't he doesn't have to know everything. But when I see him on television, the same thing with Rick Perry, and I say, I could do a better job than him. Yeah. And that's what's wrong. People at home are going, I could do a better job than him. And you can't be president. I mean, that's why, all right, that, that's what I think anyway. No, and it's true. And I must say, though, that th this is what happens. This is the dumbing down of America. This is the defense that is gonna come from Herman Cain. It's like, you know, I, I know a lot. I don't think the American people know think that I should know every single thing. He did it with Uzbekistan. It was Becky, 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 right. Becky Stan when he did that. The, the, he should not, he's gonna say, I should not have to know everything. I can't know everything. I'm gonna learn a lot on the job. I hire advisors to know these things. All of those excuses and the masses who like Herman Cain are gonna say, he's right, he's right, the liberal media. Mm -hmm. The media, the editorial board was picking on him mm -hmm. there, asking him a question about Libya. Libya is not a 50 state. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's, it's. Well, that's what they said about George Bush, if you remember. And he got elected. He's gonna of. have a lot of smart people around him. He doesn't need to, need to know everything. He's gonna have smart people around him. And you're like, that, that doesn't work like that. It no. doesn't work because you have to be smart to know which smart person's telling you the thing right. that you need to know. Right. You need and to be able to, because they're gonna be two smart people telling you opposite things. Right. So you need to be able to decipher between the two smart people. And you have to be smart enough to have smart friends. Yes. <laughs> Which is yeah. a totally different one. Uh, Cain uh, continues to, uh, the, the onslaught of loving, um, I guess, uh, regurgitation of, of facts here. Uh, this is number 22, clip 22, talking about our president. So many Republicans su supported, congratulated him for how he handled that. You would not have been among that group. I'm not criticizing him, I'm just saying, I just don't think enough was done relative to assessing the opposition 
before everything, you know, exploded. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that is, I, I really, <laughs> he's making that up. He just made that up. That is completely out of nowhere. I, I don't know what that means. Assessing the opposition, it happened, it went well, uh, it didn't go perfectly. And like anything else, he didn't assess yeah. the other Yeah, he could have done it better. I'm not criticizing him, but what I'm saying is critical. Right. <laughs> because had he, had he assessed <laughs> the opposition, what would have happened, Herman? What would have happened had <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah. We, we, we would have gotten rid of Qaddafi, probably. Oh, wait a second. He's mm. gone, wait a minute. Right? He got rid of Qaddafi without committing right. troops. If mm. we'd assessed it more, mm. we would have been much more involved than any other. Well, we weren't mm. much more involved than any mm. other nation. Um, this man clearly has no idea what happened in Libya. Um, and now, as any good reporter would do, ask more about the same topic, right? You'd say you're criticizing. Oh, there's more? No, well, let's see. Is there see. more to this? That's Herman, exciting. Come back, Herman. So I'm not clear then. What was the parts that you're criticizing the president for of how he handled it? Okay. The opposition that wanted to overthrow Gaddafi. Who are they? How organized are they? How strong are they? Uh, who would be the parent leader? Now that they have succeeded, did they have a plan for how they were going to govern? Or are you going to end up now with a country in complete chaos? This is what I mean by so, it. But if they didn't have that, then when you back off and not gotten as involved as he it, did? It, how? It, it would depend upon which part they didn't have. So what I'm saying is it's not a clear yes, no, answer because all of those things I think should have been assessed. That, that's what I'm saying. And you don't think they were assessed? I don't know that they were or were not assessed. <laughs> this, this, is a, <laughs> this is really like a Saturday Night Live. Piece, you honestly. can't parody is, this. No, you can't parody. It is what He's you already know, it, parodying uh, himself. Uh, He's already to the extreme. You can't go. No. You would, uh, the script on the comedy sketch for that would read exactly the same. Right. You wouldn't have to write a joke for that. It's just there. And, and this is what. This is why he shouldn't be president. I mean, whatever you think about the harassment, right. and we've already heard what Mrs. Kane thinks, and we already hear the sort right. of blasé reception that has gotten from the electorate so yes. far, at least judging by the polls. Uh, this should disqualify him from the presidency. <laughs> yes. uh, the, he may be a great executive. I know very little about the, uh, the pizza business, but uh, he is not fit for the presidency. And well, just to answer to disagree, there is zero thought going into these answers. There's almost none. You know, it's it seems to me that you talk about, I don't know about, it seems what I can glean from watching Herman Cain over these past few weeks is that the pizza business pretty much runs itself.